Good morning, everyone. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It is very early in the wee hours of Monday morning, and um, I woke up about a half hour before my alarm went off, and I got called into work early. So, I gotta knock this out quick. This will be your work week top and bottom. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I'll just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, just throw it out, ignore it, forget it ever happened, or stay through to the end and check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. The 12 zodiac signs are divided up into the four elements, and I will be reading for the elements. So, that's how this works. Not really much else to say. I'm going to get right into it and start out with fire. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two more shuffles and a cut. Try to make this short, sweet, and to the point, and not have to clarify very much. But I clarify as much as I have to. Sometimes I ask for one card, sometimes I take four or five. Top of the deck. Two of Cups. Fire signs, it's already looking promising. Bottom. Page of Cups reversed. This tells me there may be a connection this week, but nobody's going to say anything. Okay. Three off the top. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups in the upright. King of Cups in the reverse. Three off the bottom. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. And the Four of Wands in the upper. Well. <coughs> okay. Buyer signs. Good grief. Maybe a little upheaval in the financial sector this week. I'm not liking this mismatched king and queen set. I'm not liking this at all. Throw a clarifier on that. Universe, can you tell me why my couple here is mismatched? Ten of Swords in the upright. Somebody is ending a painful cycle and waiting for a new day to dawn. One more. Knight of Swords. Well, communication. Either somebody's going to communicate or somebody is peeking in on somebody else's social media. Following the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, whatever you have. Why is, six, why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed? I saw it in the reverse first. How did it land? Eight of Swords. It landed in the upright. Somebody's impatient, waiting for this to fruit, getting all wrapped up in their thoughts about it. Locked in a cage of their own thoughts, if you will. One more on that. Six of Swords reversed. Someone may be contemplating a turn, or the other party involved may be contemplating a return. Someone who lost their patience in the past. You've been wrapped up in your thoughts about this for a while. Or they have. Take it however resonates. Why is Six of Pentacles reversed? Two of 
justice reversed in balance. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. The ki the queen is upright. The king is upside down. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't equal. Possibly unequal feels. The connection's there, but somebody's not saying anything. Somebody's not feeling it. Three of Cups, possibly a third party involved. Could be. Four of Wands is here. That's the 11-11 Twin Flame card, if you believe in that sort of thing. Doors opening, celebration, foundations. You decided to fly out. Emperor reversed. Possibly a fellow fire sign in Aries you're dealing with. I also have Libra here. Someone could be feeling vulnerable. Out of control. No more on that. Four of Pentacles, they're holding on to something. Holding on to emotions. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? Queen of Swords in the upright. This could be someone you wanted a family with in the past or you want a family with currently. And truths are going to come out. Truths are going to be spoken. There's going to be communication. Obviously with the whole social distancing thing randomly throughout the world, I don't see anybody hooking up or hanging out at this point. But there's definitely going to be communication. There's going to be the what went down and the whys and the hows. And there's going to be long talks. Okay, fire signs. That's what I have for you. Oh, top and bottom. What are you going to do about it? Nine of Pentacles reversed in the star. More of the financial troubles, possibly. This could be emotional codependency as well. There might be the realization of, I want this person or I need this person. And I think you guys put each other through the ringer and the, the healing's coming. The healing of the star card, the, the straightening out of energy flows, it's coming. All right. Earth signs. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One. Two. Two more. She spends more time shuffling than she does anything else. Well, when you're trying to squeeze all 12 zodiac signs into 20 minutes or less. Top of the deck. Two of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Three of cups. I'm going to have to see how many more threes come out. But I just heard juggling lovers. Some of you earth signs may have more than one person to pick from this week. You got another three. Three of Pentacles in the upright, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Two of Wands reversed. Earth signs. 
Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The card of laying down foundations. Thank you, Chariot Reversed. Came out, landed right where it was supposed to. Foundations have been laid, but things are standing still. Torn between two. Torn in two directions. Things aren't moving. Things aren't moving. Could be a cancer involved. Okay. One more on that. Thanks. Six of Wands. Victory after a hard fought battle. Return. This confusion, this being torn, may have manifested from someone returning to your life this week. Or in the recent past. Why is they so wants here? New start, new passionate connection. Things happening very quickly. Soulmate connection, so this was supposed to happen. <coughs> someone left, someone came back, you'd moved on, now there's confusion. I'm picking up what we're putting down here. The Empress... The Empress has shown her face. There's definite potential. There's potential for growth with this new person. I hate it when they hit the floor. But Nine of Pentacles reversed and maybe a little bit of a codependent relationship. For those of you who it resonates with. Why is Seven of Cups here? I already know why the Seven of Cups is here, but I'm going to throw a card on it anyway. The moon. The moon reversed. More on that. The decision must be made. Temptations. Confusion. It's it's in the upright, so I'm still sensing confusion. Walls came tumbling down. This may have been manifesting for a while, and this week is decision time because things are going to come to light. The confusion is going to clear up, walls are going to come tumbling down. Why is the Five of Wands here? Conflict, yes. Four of Pentacles. Oh. Landed like this, so that's reversed. 
I think someone's finally going to let go of some old emotions and it's going to cause conflict. One more. Strengthen the upright. I think one of you is going to make a more valid point. Someone will take the... It's just going to be one of those arguments that somebody's going to win. And it may be the argument to end all arguments. And the potential that this argument brings about that happy ending. Why is the eight of swords reversed here? But if it doesn't bring about that happy ending, this is where we move into the eight of swords reversed. will no longer be consuming. Everything's going to clear up and straighten out. Because doors are going to slam shut. Decisions are going to be made. Doors are going to close. Somebody's going to come out of their own thoughts about it. Why is the two of wands reversed here? Nine of Swords. You may second guess the decision you make. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck, advice. Okay. No matter what decision you make, it's the right one. Because you get the happy ending. And it's full steam ahead. Okay, Earth Signs. <clears throat> well, good luck this week, Earth Signs. It, it might be a little bit of a turbulent one. Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That didn't shuffle. That's a little bit better. Oh my goodness. You ever been startled by your alarm clock? <laughs> and then I snort. I'm not even going to delete this video. I'm just going to keep going. Oh wow, here we go. It's okay. I'm a real person. It's okay. I'm going to keep going because I got to get this up today. Just add it to the blooper reel later. Top and bottom. Full reversed. And the King of Swords reversed. Ooh. Lack of trust. Huh. And emotional decisions? So the rest of the cards have to say. Magician, a tower reversed, the moon, the four of wands reversed, the six of wands reversed, and the page of cups. Why is the magician here? Air signs, I urge you to be careful what you think this week. My notifications are popping up. Eight of Wands in the upright. Things happening very quickly. Movement, communication. 
possible communication with an Aries. Could be any sign. Because magicians here. Yeah, well, one more on that. What are they trying to manifest? Nine of Swords reversed. Huh? Okay. Communication may come and ease your mind about something. Why is the tower reversed here? The storm to end all storms. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. More darn house plants. Were we just talking about house plants? A darn Ace of Pentacles reversed again. <coughs> Tower reverse, Termit reverse, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. Rebuilding. I'm hearing trying to rebuild something on a shaky foundation. Death card. The situation has changed. You are not who you were. The healing that needed to take place wasn't. What happened over here may have been lip service. Sometimes it's just things we say to ease people's minds. There's a lack of trust and a lack of logic over here. So you know you don't trust it. Are you making an emotional decision? Why is the moon here? Air signs. I don't like it. I don't like it when the universe is cryptic. And you hate it when I'm not direct. But, you know, I read what the cards tell me. Temperance reversed. Secrets. Shadows. Things aren't... Things are off balance. Things are going to be off balance. Things aren't flowing the way they used to. Things have changed. A healing took place... A healing never took place. Building a tower on a shaky foundation. That's four of wands reversed here. Five of cups reversed. Coming out of a state of sadness, slamming a door. Finally recognizing that you have two full cups. And you're not going to stare down at the three cups of sadness anymore. One more on that. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Oh, that's cold. This person may try to cut you down for a decision you made, and don't let them. Lover's card. This is a very powerful connection. And it's acknowledged on both sides.
but I'm not liking this because anyone tries to take away your worth because they're not getting what they want, that's cold. And this Queen of Pentacles reversed is going into a Six of Wands. The Six of Wands reversed is the Somebody Stole My Thunder card. One more on that, please. Thank you. Yeah, Five of Wands reversed. The arguments end all arguments. But, yeah, I, I, it's one of those. Ten of Wands finally releasing the burden. Air signs, this is awesome. Can I get one on the Page of Cups, please? Just one. Just one on that cute little Page of Cups. Because I like this Page of Cups. This Page of Cups is a Page of Hope right now. Five of Swords in the upright. And the Queen of Wands, yes. Someone's coming along who's going to help you pick up the pieces. Who's going to be the strong communicator. It's, it's changes in communication. Who's going to remind you of your worth? And it's probably someone you're very deeply connected to. Could be an Aries. Or a Leo. Or a Sagittarius. It's a fire sign card. Could be. This might not necessarily be a lover. But this is just a person who's going to remind you of what you're worth. Because whatever happened up here... It was all lip service. It was all someone trying to get what they want, and you knew not to trust it. All right, top and bottom. Oh, yeah, three of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords. Mm-hmm. There's no foundation here, and truths are going to come to light. Oh, yeah. That was a whole lot of cards to tell a short story, wasn't it? All right, water signs. It's Monday. I've had four swallows of coffee. La 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 la. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. swords in the upright bottom five of pentacles reversed well my goodness couldn't find my coffee for a second I'm not going to speak on this yet until I get the rest of the cards out Wow. Could be vice versa. Somebody had to make a non-emotional decision, a logical decision. Somebody got left out in the cold and is desperately trying to come out. This may well have been the same person. Page of Pentacles pops up. Could be an apology. Ace of Swords. Knight of Wands reversed. Six of Wands reversed. The Devil reversed. The Nine of Cups reversed. Okay. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? I'm sensing apology. The 
world closure. Somebody's going to get their closure this week. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Swords. I don't know why I mix these two cards up. Every deck. I don't know why. I think it's because my wand looks like this. I don't know. I think I'm going to buy a wooden wand and just lay it on the table to remind myself. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ten of Wands reversed. In getting that closure, that new communication, it could bring back some old wounds and some old burdens and realize what you haven't released or they haven't released. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Swords. One more on that. I don't like that. That is someone getting all wrapped up in what didn't happen. What didn't come to pass. I don't like that. Oh boy, two of wands in the tower. Towers reversed. Could be closure up here if you choose to let it be closure, but it could be the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle with someone. My goodness. I gotta wrap this up. That alarm goes off every 15 minutes until I haul my ass out of bed in the morning. Whoever this is, whatever this is, could potentially realize that they don't want to play games anymore. And they don't want to be non-committal anymore. And somebody's going to get all wrapped up in their head about a choice they have to make, whether or not to rebuild a tower, whether to let go of the past and keep moving forward on one path, or to rebuild the tower and see what happens with someone from the past. Why is the Six of Wands reversed here? Coming out of the cold. Logical decisions. It's amazing what happens when we have time to think things through, huh? Those knee-jerk reactions when we get hurt. You know what I'm saying? It happens to all of us. Screw you! Screw you too! Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Returning, patiently waiting for someone to return. Four of Swords, being restless. Ooh. This might make you restless this week. Kind of stole your thunder when it all happened, and now the possibility of it all coming back around again might be leaving you a little restless. Or them. All things can be vice versa. 
I love this reverse devil though because that's disconnecting from it if it was toxic. Knight of Cups. He's slightly on the non-committal side. Could be a Capricorn. Some of you may realize this was toxic and you don't want to mess with it anymore. And you just put it to an end and you stop talking about it and you walk away. Some of you might rebuild. Some of you is just going to leave a little bit restless. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Five of Wands. Water signs, my friends. God bless you this week. Queen of Pentacles, know your worth. Know that you're the catch. Don't overindulge this week. All of this may cause a little bit of inner conflict. Don't let it. You're a catch. You're worth it. You don't need to be messing with people that don't want to play right. They don't want to be nice. Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Don't let picking up the pieces after the battle cause confusion. Don't let this turn your cups all upside down. You're a catch. Okay, water sign. Sorry if that was a little confusing. Oh. Let me know what happens. Thursday nights, I post the weekend top and bottom so let me know what happens by thursday friday let me know if it resonated i'm gonna get out of here though i gotta get ready for my bread and butter job be kind to yourselves and stay safe this week bless you catch us tomorrow march 31st tuesday for our live anniversary special you know if you got time whatever you're doing like share and subscribe if you feel so compelled i don't twist anybody's arm do what you want it's not my journey I don't fit in your shoes. I can't walk your path. Love you to bits. Catch you later.